Some schools in South Dakota have shifted gears on the type of bus they're operating now, including propane powered buses. Kelland's Carter Schmidt was at the Madison Central School District today to find out how the big rigs compare to their diesel counterparts. As more people work to reduce vehicle emissions, some school districts are purchasing propane buses. Madison has added four to its 17 bus fleet the last two years. We were able to replace some of our older buses that weren't running with the same emissions, and, and we were able to get these buses that have a lot, lot better emission, um, less emission releases for it. And that was kind of the main goal to it. Brooks says propane buses cost slightly more than diesel, but they've gotten help purchasing them through grants and funding from the Department of Environmental and Natural Resources. Transportation Director Stan Fodd said these buses are easier to maintain. You don't have uh, all the fuel filter costs, you don't have the oil, as much oil, or the oil filters are a lot less on uh, on the on these buses versus a uh, uh, diesel bus and you can tell what powers these school buses by looking at the bird logo above the door green is propane blue is gas and black is diesel in cold weather fod says the propane buses have been reliable it was negative 30 degrees and uh, i had a diesel bus that didn't start so i handed the driver the key that for the one propane bus that was sitting outside and he went out and put the key in, turned the switch, and started it up, and way went on his route. Fod says bus drivers are also giving the new sets of wheels positive reviews. They can tell it's a little, little less power, but uh, as far as they warm up so fast, they pretty much all the bus drivers like them, so they would rather drive those than the diesels on the routes. In Madison, Carter Schmidt, Kelland News. Other schools that purchase the new propane buses include uh, Brookings, Gayville, Vollen, Harrisburg, Lenox, and Yankton.